President Biden ushers in the end of the republic by accepting, endorsing, and propping up the most extreme ideas imaginable, like not allowing eight bullets in a round. Yes, that's something he actually said. Hello, I'm Mike Huckabee, and we'll talk about that and more today on The Breakdown. A growing number of Republican lawmakers are beginning to echo the warnings of Representative Ronnie Jackson, the former White House doctor, that President Biden is exhibiting alarming signs of mental decline. The past few weeks have brought a number of brain glitches and senior moments during interviews and press conferences, and the latest, well, it's the most disturbing yet. It came in a forum Sunday with the obscure media outlet called Now This News, featuring questioners as young as 15, bringing to us all sorts of gems, but this one may just be my favorite. My, my, my legislation says there can be no more than eight bullets in a round, okay? I don't know which manufacturer is managing to get two bullets in a round, let alone eight, but I tell you what, if deer start wearing Kevlar vests, you know what? We're going to need those eight bullets per round. When asked about the lawsuits opposing his $500 billion student loan bailout, Biden dismissed objections, claiming that it's the law now. He even said, it's passed. I got it passed by a vote or two. I've just signed a law that's being challenged by my Republican colleagues. If you went to school, if you qualify for a Pell Grant, you qualify for 2000 I mean, excuse me, uh, you, you qualify for $20,000 in debt forgiveness. Secondly, if you don't have one of those loans, you just get 10000 written off. It's passed. I got it passed by a vote or two, and it's in effect. No, 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 no. That never happened. It never happened. He never sent it to Congress where it truly belonged, but that likely wouldn't have passed had he done so. No, he signed an executive order. It's not a law. It's long been rumored that Joe Biden doesn't understand what he's signing, but this seems to be proof that not only is someone else making the decisions, but Joe Biden doesn't even know what those decisions are. In the same form, President Biden also endorsed unrestricted abortion at taxpayer expense, as well as the chemical castration and surgical mutilation of children in an interview with a biological male who wears a dress and makes TikTok videos in which he pretends to be a teenage girl. How very presidential. I won't subject you to this person's TikTok videos, but here's President Biden answering a question about morality and legality of banning sex reassignment surgery and puberty blockers. Do you think states should have a right to ban gender affirming health care? I don't think any state or anybody should have the right to do that as a moral question and as a legal question. I just think it's wrong. I, I think it's a moral and legal question, but I don't come to the same conclusion. As Bonchi at redstate.com points out, quote, gender affirming care, end quote, is an oxymoron, indeed. He also isn't as disturbed by the senility as he is by the pandering to degeneracy. Frankly, I urge you to read the whole Red State article, but I want to quote this part in particular because I think it deserves a wider audience. Bonchi writes that the worst part is that Joe Biden doesn't believe a word. If he did, he would at least chalk his rantings up to mental illness. But he's doing all of this for political gain, as foolish as that may be. President Biden is a terrible politician. I mean, even Barack Obama implied as much. He's literally willing to endorse the abuse of children if he believes it will gain him and his party a few more loyal followers. That's deprivation on par with some of the worst people in history. It truly is. The best comment of all comes from Matt Walsh, who's been on my TBN show several times, and he's the author of the book, What is a Woman?, as well as the documentary by the same title. Here was Matt's statement. The Democrats have settled on their closing argument. Vote for us so that we can castrate children, use your money to pay abortions, and put pornography in schools. If you don't vote for us, then you're a Nazi and democracy will die, end quote. The elites in society, specifically those in the media sphere, they're going to tell you that you've got to be tolerant of this nonsense, that you must sit idly by while kids are abused and everything that makes sense is turned upside down. They'll even threaten to call you names like transphobe and bigot. But you know what? Who cares? This stuff is not okay. It's not normal. It's dangerous and it must be stopped. I can't claim to know for certain Joe Biden is thinking something. He may sincerely believe that the biggest threat to America 
is that scary Republicans will come out of the woods with torches and force your children not to cut their genitals off. The problem is that some unelected people around him believe in dangerous nonsense like that, and as long as they can exercise presidential power over the people through him, not only is America unsafe, but it's certainly not a democracy. If you want more news, analysis, and commentary like this, and I can't imagine why you wouldn't, be sure to subscribe to the channel below and go to MikeHuckabee.com to sign up for my completely free newsletter. Also, head over to the Center Point on TBN YouTube channel for coverage of all the news that you need to know. Be sure to set your clocks this Friday for 2.30 p.m. Eastern, 1.30 Central for the Live with Mike live stream. That's going to do it for this edition of The Breakdown. I'm Mike Huckabee. Thank you.